Well, let's bring you the latest on that massive jailbreak. Interior Minister Abdul Rahman Daman Nzau says a manhunt has been launched in Nigeria for at least 180 prisoners still at large. They escaped from a jail in the city of Minna during a raid by armed men. 30 of the SKPs have been rearrested. CGTN Skeleche Mekalam has more on Nigeria's biggest jailbreak in years. In total, 219 inmates are reported to have escaped after the jailbreak. Unknown gunmen reportedly attacked the prison at about 8 p.m. local time. They overpowered the prison's officials on duty after a shootout and flung the prison gates open for inmates to escape. Their motives could not be immediately established, but the same prison's facility is not new to jailbreaks. In 2014, armed men attacked it and freed 275 inmates. Only 108 of the jailbreakers were rearrested and returned to jail. Internal Affairs Minister Abdurrahman Dambazal visited the prison and said 30 of the jailbreakers were rearrested and taken back to prison. Police and prisons authorities have now combined forces in a hunt for close to 200 still at large. Central Nigeria has played host to an array of criminals ranging from petty thieves to armed robbers and kidnappers. Prisons authorities are not revealing the profile of inmates who are still at large, but there's growing fear some criminals with dangerous history could be among them. Kilechi Emekalam, CGT and Abuja, Nigeria. Well, let's get more insight on this now. We can cross over to CGTN's Deji Badmas. He's joining us from Lagos in Nigeria. Deji, is there more clarity about just how many inmates managed to escape and how many are still at large? Well, what the government is saying, as a matter of fact, what the Minister of Interior, Abdul Rahman Dambazal, said when he visited uh, the, the prison is that um, 182 um, uh, inmates now still remain unaccounted for. Uh, so 30, according to him, have been rearrested. So 182 unaccounted for. Uh, and what is coming out now is that uh, we're beginning to get um, some kind of profile now of some of the inmates. We understand among uh, those that are still missing, two of them are actually on death row. Uh, so I, I think as the day goes on, uh, we're going to get uh, better clarity. But uh, at this moment, what we can confirm is that uh, two, of course, uh, two of the inmates that uh, escaped were on death row, and um, 182 still unaccounted for, and uh, 30, of course, have been rearrested. There's a possibility now, uh, because of what is going on in that state, that uh, more arrests have been made, but we're going to get uh, some kind of confirmation uh, probably much later in the day. So there is possibly some arrests having been made already there, Deji, but what kind of uh, operation has been mounted to ensure the escapees are captured? There's a massive stop and search operation as we speak now going on in Niger State. Uh, you have the police, the civil defense mounting uh, checkpoints, and uh, of course you also have um, 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 criminal investigation officers. Now you have intelligence officers who have uh, infiltrated the entire area. So th there's a massive manhunt going on. But that uh, stop and search operation, of course, is going on in the state. Uh, of course, um, it's uh, true that means that uh, some of those who were arrested were arrested. Uh, and um, as we have always seen in the past uh, uh, with other jailbreaks in this country, there's also a possibility that some of those who escaped may, may come back. I mean, they may turn themselves in. We, we saw that in the past. Uh, some of these inmates may be, may be rounding off their, their terms. And uh, so uh, for them, they probably would not want to stay away. So we, we, we might have a situation where some of them might turn themselves in but um, a massive operation on stop and search operation involving the police uh, and the civil defense of course it's not impossible that the military might be involved in this uh, at some point and that this operation will no doubt uh, go beyond niger state where it happened it's definitely going to go beyond uh, probably cover the entire country because there's a possibility that some of these inmates have actually left the state Beatrice. Right, uh, Deji Badmus for us there in Lagos.